Hello, I'm James Mullinger, and I'm here today at the Ross Mount Inn near St. Andrews by the Sea in New Brunswick. I'm here to meet Chris Ernie, the owner, proprietor, and chef here at what is widely regarded as one of the best restaurants in Canada, and he, one of the finest chefs in the world. He's gonna teach me all about why Atlantic Canadian farmed salmon is the best way to enjoy salmon, not only the most ethical, but most importantly, the most delicious. Let's go. Come on in. Hi, Chris. Good, Good to see you. Yeah. Good to see you, mate. How are things? Great. Fantastic. Good. As you know, I love the Ross Mountain. Love everything about what yes. you've done here. Can you tell me a bit about your first visit here and what made you decide to uh, to purchase the place? Because that's quite a big, big step, isn't it? Living 14 years in Toronto, Ooh. deciding that our future business project between myself and Graziella, my Ooh. wife, was going to be a country inn somewhere beautiful in Canada where food was going to be important. Smart. So that was the idea. The beauty of the land and the wonderful local product we have here from, from wild fisheries to lobster to, um, to, to farming to aquaculture, all these things, that's really brought us here, right? Because yeah. we needed to have products we could identify ourselves with mm. when we write the menu in the kitchen, when we cook. That, was, that all brought us here. By the end of the day, it's the people who kept us here, right? Should we create some magic ourselves here sure. right now? I'm thinking salmon. We're in New Brunswick. You're thinking salmon? <laughs> and then something from the market. Yes. How is that? We're right. going to use what we have here right. in Atlantic Canada. Not only what we have in Atlantic Canada, but what we have here today, here today. right now. Beautiful. That is everything. You're going to make that more Beautiful. of a tataki style. As you can hear how it sizzles. Mm. Um, uh, salmon is nice if it has a little bit of a crust, right? Mm. Um, you can poach it, it goes wonderfully well, yeah. very low temperature. But um, I think it's like a barbecue or anything like that. Mm. Uh, the flavors are from the, from the sizzle, right? Where right. it caramelizes a bit. I can hear the sizzle, I can feel the sizzle. This is obviously with a Japanese influence, right? Mm -hmm. Which is called the Sam Tataki. Going fabulously well with uh, a kind of a hoisy ginger drizzle. Mm -hmm. right? And we're going to throw in a little bit of wasabi. Oh, nice. Right? That goes as well. This is literally like my dream dish. And then you have um, this morning when we picked up those nice beets. Yeah. We'll have the roshti with some golden beets. We have the salmon, which is sort of half cooked, right? Mm -hmm. It's Japanese style, mm -hmm. the sushi grade salmon. Yeah. We have the beets, which we cooked, golden and the regular purple beets. And now we're going to garnish that with uh, some chioga beets. That would be the chioga beet, right? Yeah. It's easy to do with salmon because we know when it's being harvested, where it's processed, we know the date, we know that the cold chain is, um, is maintained. Right. It comes out of the water, it's chilled, goes into the plant, a certain temperature is maintained, gets packaged and gets shipped. Wow. And again, and that's all happening right here in this province. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And knowing that our plant is only like 20 minutes away, we should be able to get fresh salmon. Right, right. right. <laughs> so, you can, so you can basically time the point at which it came out of the yeah. water here. Here we go, the dream dish. Mmm. Mm. That is epic. Absolutely epic. This is definitely a fusing of 
different. Sure. Europe. Mm. Asia. Mm. Charlotte County. Yes, I like it. Europe, Asia, Charlotte County. That sounds like the um, sounds like the tagline on a on a fashion warehouse. 